I'm so excited to have my friend Harmony on um, Dear H today. I had a couple of the letters that have sent in by that were people that just kind of were asking about the phenomenon of influencers and uh, what, you know, a lot of people don't know that they're actually real people in real <laughs> homes talking in front of their closet. They have kids <laughs> upstairs that are fighting. And, you know, so absolutely. I like, yeah. I mean, is that the case in your home? Oh, a hundred percent. Yes. <laughs> So I wanted to just showcase that like a the influencer, I think that how long ago did you start um, becoming an influencer? Like when you, I don't, I hate, I know you hate that word. So I know, I hate that, it. But like I mean, really <laughs> someone over an X amount of followers is considering that they have a strong influence on influencer, you know, mode on social media. When did you start like just going? I know that you said before that you don't have, you didn't have an account. Like you were like, I didn't no. know. I wasn't even online. So when did that start and stop? Gosh, you know, it was at, let's see, it probably would have started about three years ago. Um, and I, I did hair, you know, I was a cosmetologist for 15 years, loved it, started when I was a junior in high school. And, you know, as a hairdresser, I always felt like, I actually had some knowledge on something, right? Like I had a, a skill that I knew a lot about and people asked me all the time, you know, uh, like just the tricks, right? How do you get the volume? And that's what I prided. I found a lot of pride myself in like teaching people how to do those things. And so for a long time, the back then, you know, blogs were kind of the thing, right? The whole blogging era just started. I mean, this is probably 10 years ago. And I used to always think, oh, I should create a blog and do hair stuff, you know, share the tips and tricks because I love teaching my clients how to do things so that they could go home and like replicate those things. But then you're only touching one guest at a time and you're only teaching one person at a time, right? And I remember thinking a blog would be so fun, but me being somebody who's never had like computer skills or knowledge or even ever wanted to attempt it, I uh, just never did it. Like I just was like, and it's a lot of work. That's a lot of work, a lot of time. So back then, you know, Instagram kind of was slowly building and slowly building. And I remember having clients tell me all the time, you should do, you know, your hair stuff on there. But I just never kind of wanted to, I don't know, I think maybe given my generation, there was like this kind of negative stigma and maybe there still is against, you know, in, and they're offering to pay you a lot of money to promote their products but I will not, it's, to me, it's turned, it's not at all about the money. Like I do not, I don't promote anything and I refuse to promote anything that is not something that I genuinely love and use myself. And even for people who just are like, Hey, can I send this to you? And if you like it, we, you, you know, can I charge, will you, I'll pay you for a post or whatever. And I tell them all the time, I'm like, Hey, go ahead. And if you want to send it to me, that's great. I'll try it. And if I love it, then I'll talk about it. I do really love to support small business and just genuinely share something with people and help grow their businesses without it always being about the money. I, and I like to purchase stuff myself. Like if I purchase something and I love it, and then if I contact the company, I'm like, hey, I really love this. You know, do you guys... Um, want to partner together and offer some type of a discount code or something like that. And if they want to do that, then that's great. But, and I think in this day in social media, it's very apparent the people who are pushing things just for money and the people who are pushing things or selling things or sharing things just because they are just sharing, you know, I think that but, that's the appeal like I'm a consumer <clears throat> and how I found you. One of the things, there's a couple of things I wanted to give you kudos on one is that that appeal is very like because people do see it they do see that you're like she's really like she really likes the product but also I think that you um unlike a lot of different influencers yeah I mean you and I have over a 10-year gap right. like I'm ten, at least 10 years older than you are and um I think one of your biggest appeals is that you showing people how to do something or your clothing line which is sand and charcoal which you launched how long ago did you launch that um, just like less than six months ago. So, so yeah, that's just relatively new. Yeah. Um, I think that when we go to buy things, my era of people, it, I think that there's, there's definitely an avenue of different influencers or different people that we watch that you're like, you know, that really just doesn't, 
I don't even relate right. to that. But I believe everything that you do say has given, because I love the reposting of people trying your hair tutorial or trying a product or loving something you found or a, like a shirt that they got. And it does it. You're not like, you're not age discriminating. You're right. not size discriminating. You're not like, financially discriminating. I think that it's like, you will find, you're, you're a uh, bargain hunter like I am. If you find a shirt from Walmart, you're excited <laughs> to get that. So I think that that is a lot for a lot of people until Walmart then became doing collaborations. You were far before that saying, oh my gosh, I found these for like $7. And I love yes. I that that's what people appreciate, even with your own brand, because you have your line of clothing and, but you still are like, I got these from Old Navy and I love them. I, oh, I yeah. think, that is amazing to me. That is what I, the authenticity in people is what I crave. And so as a person that I, I, I joined and I found you because of the makeup and we got to give it a plug for two seconds. I <laughs> like, <it's> good. <laughs> it is like, seriously, like, I mean, I, I'm not, I know. I'm not near as a wizard as you are. Right. Yeah. I think I'm going to be 47 in a, a couple months and they, most products, do I mean I've tried them every every product that there is I've tried them from like the lower end to the highest end to try to bring, I agree to bring yourself a little bit of age you know compromise yes. um and this is this mascara makeup was how I really found you and then I found the hair tutorials where a lot of people are just the opposite they yes. found hair tutorials and then they're like oh my gosh that makeup's amazing yes. I, that's how I found you and this is when I knew that you who you were as an individual I, the social media thing for me that, that loses me a lot is that I want to talk to you just like, now that you know me, you're like, oh, that's how she is. But if you didn't know me and a lot, of, for as many emails as you get a day for how many calls and how many messages, whatever, I could be anybody off the street and just saying, hey, can you help me? And not only did you help me, but you came to my home and you helped me like figure it out. So like yes. that doesn't happen all the time with people like that. Like yeah. I knew who you were and you took an immense amount of trust saying she's not a wackadoo and I'll go to no. her house. <laughs> she's not going to kidnap me. So, and then beyond that, I got to see you in like in a workout class. Like I, I get to see you every day and I don't go in there saying, Oh my gosh, there's harmony. She has this much. And there's a big title bubble. No. Yes. I no. Like, I see you in your friendships. I see you with people that are brand new. I see you with people. And that like, to me is your best quality. Is well, that I'm so grateful for you. Person. Like, <laughs> that, like that doesn't, it doesn't come. And that's why I wanted to do this with you is I wanted people to see that you're a real person. You have two children. You have an awesome husband. You have pets. You yes. have the crap off the floor from the pets. <laughs> yes. You have jobs. You, make work. you have nice things. But I also know that what it takes to get there because, you know, my husband and I got, we, we got married young too. I got married at 19. He was 20. And I believe you guys were just yes, the same. same. Uh -huh. And yeah. so to me, that's so relatable to, uh, to the American dream. Yes. And okay. that's, that's yes. right. And you're exactly right. And you talk about, I mean, that's me. I feel like I relate so well to the average person because I am an average person. Like, I feel like, you know, when I don't, I, I can't say that enough that I, I do find that, you know, that's why I found success in what I've been doing because I am just like the average normal I, I mean, whatever I consider normal, I guess, <laughs> person. You know, you know you're like, not average. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not. But, but I, I'm, I'm that, pretty dang average. We're amongst the people. Yeah. So like I, I, yeah, I, I, we, you know, we started with just, I mean, it's, we're just normal people. Like I, we've, we got married young. We've always had to bargain and, you know, like, I mean, everything, same thing. I mean, it's just like, that, you know, and I used to look at a lot of these people. I mean, you, like I said, you kind of look at them as like these famous people that have these, you know, fancy lifestyles and you're just like, you put them up on this pedestal, you know, and I've never been somebody who wants to be put up on a pedestal. If that ever make, like, I'm oh, always the one. I've seen you in, in yeah, situations I don't where you're like, like, oh, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> no, like, I just like to be with everybody else like I'm a you know I like to be where everybody else is and make everybody else feel comfortable because that's what makes me feel comfortable I don't 
you know, and I'm totally fine with those people who love to be on that pedestal. I think there's a, a, you know, those people are great too, but that's not me. Like I just am, you know, and same with like, you talk about the clothes. I like to appeal to everybody. I mean, all shapes and sizes, not just limiting it to one, you know, particular type or person or anything like that. I just feel like, you know, cause I want everybody to feel included and to make them feel like their best self. And that's, and you don't you use, know, like, I, I think it's fun to use filters, but whenever you're doing tutorials, you never use a filter. Never. Use, I want people never. to see what they're yes. getting and what they're buying, the true color that they're getting. And that's like, you know, and there's nothing wrong with filters. Like, please, no. don't wrong. there's nothing no, wrong with filters. Absolutely. But when you're buying a product, especially makeup that's going to go on your face, it it's was a lot easier important. to ask that, you know? Yes. And I think another thing that I, I noticed that um, is your tribe has stayed the same before, during, and where you are right now. Like you yeah, are yeah. very family oriented. You do a lot with your, ex like your, your parents, your husband's parents. You stay pretty small, but your tribe has remained the same. Yes, absolutely. They are, my family is 100%. They are all my best, best friends. I mean, we've always been like that. Like, you know, on the weekends, we go to dinner with our parents. Like, <laughs> that's what we do, you know? I love that. You know, the other day, I was my, so I have um, a daughter that has a baby and has a baby on the way. And then I have my next yes, daughter. so cute. She, oh my gosh, I love it. She, but she, um, we will oftentimes, on our date night, go to dinner with our older kids. Yeah. Like, they yes. are like, as much my friends. I work out with Hannah every day. It's the um, best. And then, you know, and then we went on a hike yesterday with, so I, I get that part of you. And I think that that's why it was super relatable to me. And one thing I want to ask you, it's kind of a vulnerable question, but in this line, cause we've talked about it before this line, I think it's really hard to know who your friends are. To know yeah. who really loves you for you. And right. it's not about what you can do for them. It's right. about literally who, like who they are. And I, um, there was a conversation that we had that really did, like, I, I bet that that does come into play sometimes. Yes, I definitely do think there's a lot of people who um, kind of put that being an influencer um, up on this pedestal and they want to get them get there themselves and they want to use as many people as they can to kind of get to where they want to go. I'm a firm, firm believer in karma. And I think, you know, what you put out there, you get back in return. Well, I think too, and, you do the, um, about the, the little gal of cancer. She didn't yes. to do that. She didn't No, you're, you're, no. you're like using your pedestal, your platform yes. for good because you can do that. That yes. was amazing for me to watch people immediately. Oh my gosh, let's help this girl out. They didn't help that girl out because you were going to look at them different. They helped that because they knew that that's what you would do. And you did do that. Yes. And, and for that, her, I mean, that and that was, awesome. yeah. And that was the thing with her is it was the, fu the funny thing about, I mean, that Michelle, like she loved fashion. She loved fashion. And she was so stoked about me opening this boutique. And she was such a good supporter for me. And that was something that she was like, I would have loved to. I mean, she loved fashion. This girl loved to shop. So it even, if, I mean, the money to her, she could have cared less about the money, but just like allowing her to pick some stuff out was so fun for her and me both because she got to pick it out and she got to see it sell. And that was really rad for her. Like she could have cared less about the money, you know, like that wasn't, that wasn't important for her, but she, more than anything, she just, it was so fun to like bring her in and see kind of, you know, she got to see all the back end of things and how it works. And she was so stoked to see it sell out. Cause she used to give me crap all the time about, you know, swipe up and how I'd sell, sell something out. And she'd be like, Oh, Oh, of course. There she goes again. <laughs> so she was awesome about that. But yeah, I think the more good you can do with these type of, and that's something, you know, I do feel strong, <clears throat> strongly about is promoting, like just being positive and promoting goodness through your platform. Like if you can touch that many people, why not make it a good experience for them? You know? Bring the light. You people. don't, you know, one of the things is when you're ever having a hard time, you may touch on like, oh, that was rough, but you don't really like that's a well on it. You, you, you keep it pretty sacred. Yeah. And those, those are, but that's, 
that's kind of how I am in my life in general. Like I will never dwell. And it's not that I'm putting on a, you know, a fake face or whatever for social media. It is just like, that's not my nature. I, I don't dwell on, if I have something rough going on in my life, I'm not dwelling on it. <laughs> And if I get on and start talking about it, that's me dwelling on it. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I try to kind of look at the positive in situations always. I mean, even in this situation that we're in right now, like I know there's a lot of people that are having a really hard time with it and I can see why it can be really, really hard. But I am honestly enjoying the time that I get to spend with my family that I haven't because we live a busy life. I mean, our kids are going every which direction. Me and Brayden are going every which direction and we don't, I mean, it's just been busy the last year. And so I, every night I'm like, this is, we actually can play games together. We, all of us can eat dinner together as a family. Like there's all these things that I'm like, you know what, this is there. These are the great positive things that are coming out of it. And I'm like choosing not to dwell on the hard, hard things and not saying that there isn't hard things. And there hasn't been days that I'm like, Oh man, <laughs> you know, if I could just leave my house right now or, you know, Finley had a birthday and we couldn't have a birthday party and that was hard for her, but it was still great. You know, we still had lots of fun and we just made the best of it. So I don't know. Sometimes I think you give power to the things you choose to give power to. It's so, so true. And I, yeah. I feed into that sometimes myself. I think that um, when you have stuff already going on and then you come to something like this, it will, you know, it could definitely expand that. And yes. exactly what you said is if you choose to give it, it's like that lion story or the wolf story. It says there's two wolves and they both, you know, one's this way, one's this way. What one's going to win? It's the one you feed, right? It's the one right. that you feed. So I think that that's awesome. Right. One, one thing I want to ask you is about your kids. When you go places and because you don't stay in, you're not one of those people yeah. that feel you go and you do and you, and, and there are people yes. obviously that recognize you. Um, do they feel, does your husband, does your kids, do they ever feel like, mom, can you like not? Like, do they <laughs> um, you know, what's funny about that is like, my son says it a lot. Like he'll be like, oh, mom, why you got to know everybody? Like, you know, but he's a boy. And so when we're like out somewhere he's already feeling tortured that I took him to the mall or wherever. He can stay home. I start talking to people, you know, he'll be like, Oh man, like why well, don't talk to everybody. But for the most part, I feel like my kids, I know my daughter, even though she kind of acts like she's a little bit embarrassed, I think she's actually kind of proud and um, thinks it's really cool. Do you know what I mean? Like, She'll I have, she'll show me, a, like, yeah, she'll show me videos yeah. and be like, look, mom, my friend did your hair tutorial. And you know, and Brayden feels the same. I think he's just like, I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Cause we are just normal people. And I think he sees how hard I've worked at it. And he knows that it's been such a great thing for me and for our family. And it's, I don't take it overboard. You know, like, I'm not like, I just kind of live it naturally. If there's a couple of days that I don't get on my Instagram, it's just because I don't feel like it. It's not for any particular reason, but even though it is a job, I try not to look at it so much as like a job because then I lose the enjoyment from it. It's more of like the connection to people because I do feel really great that I get to connect. It, I'm so grateful that I get to connect with all these people. You know, they often use the term influencer. And I say all the time, I don't feel like I'm so much an influencer as much as I feel like all the people that follow me influence me. It embarrasses you touched, me. You touched on one thing that was really, really important. You said how hard I've worked. I think people need to know that yes. this is a job that requires a lot of hustle a lot of, and a lot of yes. work. It yes. doesn't just happen. Even though your video did go viral, you had some good things in play work. that... Yes. So hours do not equal money. These yes. Do not equal the same. And so there is, no. a, there is a practice and you have different lines of streaming income. And it's, yes. this is a marketing platform, but it's, they don't just magically, the dollars appear out of nowhere. So 100%. We, we just let everybody know what your streams of income are like you. So you have mascara, makeup and yes. that you, um, like the so mascara is like, yeah, my kind of my mainstream of income, but there's a whole lot that goes with that. I mean, I have a team of 
you know, 1500 people underneath me that we work together. And that in itself is a lot of work. We do lots of, you know, team things like with trainings and events and there's a lot of stuff there. That's well, you have several that. pages for those people to yeah. put those people um, in questions. And, and yes. so you know, I think that one of the things that is the biggest thing that was an eye opener for me is in my small following of, you know, whatever I have, when you have these questions and these DMs that are like, you look at the, the notification bubble and you're like, <laughs> so I think that that is really important for people that have left you a message or have commented is it's not that you can't, you don't want to get back with every single person, single, yes. but that's yes. got to be a very daunting task to look when you say, I've done a tutorial on my hair and I have 200,000 questions. I think yes. that's kind of like really to wrap your head around that, you're like, I'm Whoa. Like, How am I gonna <laughs> so does that ever get, I mean, I know that you hire yeah. staff to help us and I know that you also, yes. but I know one time you told me, you said, you know what? I, if it's a question that's like a frequently asked question, like color, da, 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 my yeah. staff helps me. But if it's a personal question, you answer those, you do answer them. I've, I've gotten yeah. it. Before. I, so I, I have always, from the time I started this business, I made it very important for me to um, connect with my followers by answering their questions. So I would spend um, hours every night before I'd go to bed answering DMs because at that time I was still doing hair too. You know, when I was, when I was doing this and doing hair at the same time, I was very, very overwhelmed because it was a lot of work and I was basically working, you know, 60 hours a week to try to get it to just to, kind of scrape the surface of what I needed to get done. But answering DMs and questions have been, you know, such a big part of, I feel like why I've um, organically grown is because I try to keep that connection with my father. Have you ever felt unsafe? Never. <laughs> I have never felt that way. And people ask me all the time, don't you worry that, you know, you're putting yourself out there. And I'm like, no, no, I don't worry because it's kind of just the world we live in. You know what I mean? Like there's hundreds of thousands of people, um, influencers on Instagram or all these platforms that put all this stuff out there. And I don't know. I mean, we have a security system. We take precautions. I'm not stupid, but you know, my, I do not, I have never felt unsafe and I've never felt worried at all. So <laughs> you get this a lot too. Has there been comments? I, you know, I, I really do stroll through comments um, just, you know, to see if other people have asked my question. So I'm not redundant in asking. Yes. My question. Um, I just don't see a ton of meanies on yours. Yeah, I'm not no, a ton, I, I mean, I know you're going to get negative comments yeah. in there, but like yeah. you don't even address them. You don't no. even, like, you, you just. Well, and it kind of goes back to that whole, you give power to what you want to give power to, right? So for me to address those kind of comments, I'm giving power to them because it's like, I don't know. And, and I don't, I don't, I'm so grateful because I feel like they're very few and far between. Like, oh yes, of course. And always in DMs, I get lots of people that are a little bit, you know, judgy McJudgersons. <laughs> Sometimes you read those nasty comments and you're like, oh that stung a little, but then you kind of just look at it and you're like, okay, this person, I don't know. I just feel like that's, if somebody chooses to see things in that light, that's them. And you know what, if they have something against me for my, the way I live my life, that's okay. That's their beliefs. That's how they feel. And they're, they have a right to feel that way. So I just let those people do their thing and I do mine. I think that this is what I wanted to ask you. Who do you find, like, do you tend to lean towards the more fashion conscious to the funny to- Oh yeah, I totally, 100% hands down. The people who, one, I love people who create, give good content, right? They are letting you know, like I love, and I will tell you who I like to follow. I, I love, love following- Kate. We both love Late with Kate. Yeah, l love late with cake. She always makes me laugh. She's always putting out good content, and she doesn't. She doesn't care. <laughs> she knows. She'll say, "I know I'm gonna get you know backlash for this, but I don't care." Like she, because that is one thing that I think a lot of people don't understand is 
you do, no matter what you put out there, you're going to get both sides of it. You're going to get the people who are going to tell you, oh my gosh, I freaking love you. You make me laugh. But you're also going to get those other judgy McJudgersons who are going to say, I can't even believe you're making light of this right now. I love Tara Thewiston. She's always providing like very good sales. Very, deals. very informative. Yeah, I'm very informative. You and I love the sister studio. I love, love her. I love think the she's amazing. Studio. Yes. And the reason, again, I would say if I were to liken you like anybody else, I would probably liken you to um, Jen from the- Which is like the best compliment you could give me, seriously. Because I, I think, think she's, she's real. She, yeah, yeah, she's so real. And she went in at a price point. She gives you Absolutely. a higher choice, but she yeah. gives you a lower end choice. And she is yes. very, very- like, She really is cool. amazing. She like- and that's, I absolutely love her, like following her. Cause I do feel like she provides good content. She, like you said, she speaks to everybody, not just one particular crowd of people. Um, and I love that about her. You know, I, Utah has a lot of influencers. I know that yes. like, it was very like when we did F45, we'd look around and there probably were about seven to eight influencers within our like class. Yeah. Yeah. There was a lot. I know. Yeah. And that's the crazy you thing. Too, never is like, that's what I loved about no, it. No, I had no idea. No, I mean, I, work I, there's home. a bunch of them you that I had no home. idea they were influencers. Yes. No clue. You know, you have an amazing job and you would choose it again and again and again. But I wanted people to know that you're real, that you have, um, that you have kids that you've got their schedules and that it is indeed work that you yes. have, that you've got to find. So the last thing I'm going to ask you is if you were, if you're young, you know, you look at these younger people coming up and they're like, that actually is a profession that they're looking for. And they said, Hey, what do you want to be when you grow up? And they say the, what would you, what would be your advice to anybody that wanted to have a platform and whatever they're going to spread, whatever it is that they're sharing or selling, yeah. or what would be your advice? Oh my goodness. I, you know, the only advice that I can even like think of that comes to mind that I think is the sole most important part is to be genuine, like to be authentic in who you are, no matter what that looks like. Like you don't have to be what everybody else is doing and you don't have to conform to what everybody else is doing in, you know, the style of your clothes or the way you take pictures or the pictures you put, like it, it doesn't have to be a certain way that you want, you know, that you're putting out there just to keep it true, genuine and authentic to yourself. But then, yeah, I mean, I, I, that it's such a hard thing. Cause I, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot to it for sure. And like you said, there's so much more to it than I think anybody would ever even imagine. I, I, I mean, I think you scratch the surface. I still think there's more. And then you add on the different yeah. things you do. So before we leave, I would like you to tell everybody, how can we find you? What avenues? So I know when you go, you guys have a link, to, like the tree where you can, yeah, the the different things, but so, where can we find you? So Instagram is my main handle. That's kind of where it's all at. Like I, Instagram is my thing. I feel more comfortable with it. I know how to work it. It's simple. It's clean. So I pretty much do almost everything driven from Instagram, which is harmonize underscore beauty. And then all the other things are, um, kind of subs of that. So if I post a video to YouTube, I will, you know, link it from Instagram. So really everything, everything in your bio from Instagram. So if yeah, you in your bio, Instagram's the main one, the different areas that you can yeah. find and then really quick, a, a shameless plug for your cute shirt oh. and your clothing, yes. your clothing. I've got <laughs> several pieces. I love them all. I, oh, good. Right. Whenever I do it, doing stories, they'll always ask where my stuff comes from. So you're coming. Your what is yes, it? So it's called sand and charcoal. So sandandcharcoal.com. We also have an Instagram, same thing, sand and charcoal. Um, it's a family owned business. It's me, my mom and my sister that do it together. And yeah, it's been, it's been super fun. Like I said, we just started, you know, five months ago and we've had a great time doing it. So we and look forward to continue to grow. Yeah. I mean, seriously, <laughs> you order it and I'm like, Oh, it's here. Yeah. So I, we I have a good them. team of people that we got we working do. for us that are making us really fast and efficient. So, <laughs> well, thank you so much for being yes. with me today. I, thank I, you I, for I, having I, me. I can see your face. In fact, I was saying earlier when she very first came out, like, Oh my gosh, I miss your face. I miss seeing. I know me too. Like, I miss you. Yes. And I miss our workouts. Dang it. Get, we workout, got get to get our little social on at, you know, for that hour and 
I think yes. everybody really, really looked forward to that. So I'm excited to get back For to that. Sure. I wish you and your family well. I hope everybody's healthy. And um, if there's anything I can ever do for you, you know, you can ask me. You're the best. Thank you so much, Rach. I, I wish all the same for you. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Stay safe and healthy. Okay. <laughs> and <You're> sane. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Okay,